Man, it's been a long day. Oh, Ooh. oh god, oh god. Oh man, I know I should've eaten those tacos. Oh, oh god, oh. Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh god, oh god. Oh man, whew. Wait, where's the toilet paper? Welcome back to G-Shot Outdoors. If you've seen my old videos, then you've seen this. My Rock Island Armory VR PA-40. It is a pump action. 12 gauge shotgun. I've actually got this red dot sight on it. It's got the cheek weld, the adjustable cheek weld, and so on. If you want to see more, go to my old videos. So this comes out of the box with two of these five round magazines. Like I said, in the old videos, you've seen these. You've also seen the nine round magazine that I have, but you haven't seen this monster of a magazine. This is a 21 round, 12 gauge magazine. <laughs> Look at that. That's insane. When I got this gun, of course I did some research and I found out there was a 21 round magazine available, but it was out of stock when I got the, the shotgun and it's been out of stock until last week. I signed up for notifications. They sent me a notification when this came in stock. As soon as I got the email, I purchased it immediately. You can thank me later. I'm gonna try it out today. I'm gonna to see how well it performs with different types of uh, ammunition and how well the gun performs. So let's get started. One thing I do want to note about this is it, even though the gun can chamber a three inch round, this magazine will only hold two and three quarter inch shells. The original magazine will hold three inch shells and the gun will shoot three inch shells, but not this drum. So first off, I am going to load it up with 21 rounds of this high brass nine pellet buckshot. The way you load it is it has a little uh, handle back here to relieve tension on the spring and you twist that as you put a new round in oh, It's a bit windy today by the way, so uh, It's probably gonna be in the microphone if you would just excuse that not much I can do about it and 21 uh oh oh it skipped around <laughs> right there it skipped one so it does hold 21 rounds I guess I twisted it too far you have to make sure that you get one round in each one of these little slots or you're gonna have an issue like that and it's not gonna hold all 21 rounds for the sake of the video that one round's not gonna make a big difference because it is fully sprung. So it's got full tension on it, which is not terrible. It is, it's not too hard to load with the uh, action closed. It's about like in the other magazine. So, yeah, that was it. That was all 20 rounds. It seems to, to cycle very smooth. Now I do have some slugs here as well. 
These are actually one and one eight ounce slugs, but they are exactly the same as these buck shots. They're high brass, they're, they're gonna cycle the same way. In one of my previous videos, you guys are asking about low brass and how well it chambered. In the five round and the nine round magazines, it chambered fine, I had no issues. One of the commenters said that he actually had an issue with low brass and it ended up jamming really bad. So I'm gonna load this up with some seven and a half shot low brass, two and three quarter inch shells. So we got all 21 rounds in this time. You can see right there, no slots missed. Now like with any other magazine, you can always load a plus one in the chamber. So that would be a total of 22 rounds. I have seen some other videos of drums for this, but the only ones I've seen are 20 round. And I think they actually have to be modified in this area somewhere to be able to work in this gun. The beauty of this drum is it is made specifically for this gun. I purchased it from advancedtactical.com, which is the same company as Rock Island Armory that makes this firearm. So it is specifically made for this gun. So I know you guys didn't come to this video to listen to me talk and to watch me play around with this drum. Behind me, I have some rotten pumpkins from this past fall. I do have this fully loaded with 21 rounds of low brass birdshot. It's actually not even brass. I think it's steel, but same concept. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. fun 21 rounds actually that was uh more like 30 rounds well probably 27 28 i did have a couple malfunctions but they were i believe they were user error uh-oh okay as you saw with the buckshot Every round cycled flawlessly. I think it was just my coordination. This thing is awesome. I will definitely recommend it. Um, unfortunately, it is out of stock again. It was only in stock for a day and then it went back out of stock, but luckily I got one. I would highly recommend checking out advancedtactical.com. Put in your email address, get a notification when this comes in stock and get one. If you have this gun, you want some extra rounds you want some extra capacity this is an amazing drum well guys i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did i had a lot of fun shooting that 21 round drum it was it was pretty entertaining uh be sure to like subscribe and share for more videos and check out our links in the description below i've got a link for our patreon facebook instagram twitter TikTok. oh by the way we have a new channel it is called geography that's G-ography. 
it's a it's a new channel that we're gonna put everything that's not firearms fishing hunting related i just wanted to create a new channel i wanted to do something different uh it's actually a vlogging channel so i've got a few videos over there we recently did a mountain trip we did some snowboarding sledding skiing so yeah go check that out anyway for now that's it hope you guys enjoyed i love you and i'll catch you on the flip side at least i don't have to hit a two inch target this time i've got it Foot pit up. At least I don't have to hit a foot. Now we're gonna try 200 yards again. What kind of fish you think you'll catch in here? I don't know. <laughs> Just kind of fish. Yeah. I don't think I hit it. Really caught a little fish. <laughs> Pumpkin carving. All right. Nice. I need to go wash my hands.